And when the flash floods hit Waverly over the weekend, so many people say they got no alerts on their phone. On top of that, the 911 center in Humphreys County wasn't operable. So what do you do in that situation? Our Marissa Sulik talked with the director of the 911 center to find out what's the backup plan. On Saturday morning, there were two dispatchers at the Humphreys County 911 center behind me answering calls. The director says that's a normal amount for that time and that day. But when you have 40 to 50 calls coming in at one time, they say it's nearly impossible to staff an event like that. Five days after flash floods hit Waverly, Don't get it right. people here are giving what they can after some say they didn't receive a single warning. We didn't receive anything. Michael Humbles lives in this home off Maple Avenue. He says he and his wife had no idea severe weather was coming. Warnings on their phone never came through, but they had cell service. In fact, uh, cell reception would start again. We, we were able to get a phone call out each to our parents and um, I'm sure not the calmest, but you know, to, to let them know what was happening. And uh, we lost service after that. We could have had 300 dispatchers and it would not have been adequate staffing. Bobby Brown, director of the Humphreys County 911 Center, says he doesn't have a clear answer as to why some didn't receive those texts. Those were coming through in McEwen. I, I, I can't attest to what happened in Waverly, but I know they were sending them out. Um, but the pure nature of this flood, nobody, I, I don't think even the National Weather Service could have gotten alerts out quick enough to, uh, to have helped. Brown says Saturday morning 911 lines also went down in the county for 45 minutes. At that point, they went to their backup plan. The first course of action is if the 911 lines go down, they transfer to admin lines. If the admin lines go down, they roll to our backup PSAP, which is Dixon County. And at that point of failure, they would roll to Dixon County's backup PSAP. So it's a, it's a redundant system. He says they also rerouted calls to cell phones they have at the center and those provided by the city of McEwen. It wasn't until 1030 that night, everything was back up and running under this roof. The first time that we noticed the water, um, the flooding was an issue. Uh, our animals, we were sitting down on the couch watching a movie. Humble says had they gotten the alerts, he and his wife may have not had to take this ladder still sitting on the roof to a rescue boat below. We heard a gurgle and the next thing, I mean, just seconds later, water's you know, steadily rising up towards us. Now those cell phones the center used for their backup plan were implemented after the Christmas Day bombing. Reporting in Waverly, I'm Marissa Sulek, News 4 Nashville.